In our health alert tonight, Novo Nordisk will stop its kidney trial earlier after the diabetic drug Ozempic showed promising results. The global health care company studying its popular medication to see if it could help treat kidney failure in patients with diabetes. We have our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, here to provide more information. And what can you tell us, Doc, about the interim analysis? Yeah, geeks like, it, like me get <laughs> excited about this. So then the Denmark-based company oh. hasn't shared many details about the trial because it's a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical study. And the results will remain blinded until the study has ended. So how did Novo Nordisk know to stop out the trial a whole year earlier than planned? Well, that's because there's an independent data monitoring committee, right? It recommends an early stop after an interim analysis found that the treatment was beneficial. Now, the trial started in 2019 and involved around 3,500 folks with diabetes and kidney disease. Participants received a weekly injection of either the diabetic drug Ozempic or a placebo, like a dummy drug. The objective of the trial was to see if the drug could impact the progression of kidney failure and reduce death from kidney disease or cardiovascular disease. You see that one of three people living in di with diabetes have diabetic nephropathy, also called diabetic kidney disease. It's what happens when diabetes isn't well controlled. Over time, it slowly damages the kidney's filtering system, and then this can lead to kidney damage, which can pro progress to kidney failure, and it's a life-threatening condition. That's what took my mom's life. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so God. it hits, uh, hits close to home. Wow, wow. Let me reach out to you on oh, that Thank one. you. So Ozempic has what's called semaglutide, if I'm saying it right, and that's the same active ingredient in the weight loss drug, Wegovi. That's right. And so Glenda always gets the big words right. There's a new <laughs> study that suggests that Wegovi and Ozempic may have a higher risk of gastroparesis, which in English means paralysis of the stomach, and pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the pancreas. Now, researchers found a 1% rate of new cases of stomach paralysis, that gastroparesis, and a 0.5% incidence of pancreatitis in folks taking Ozempic. While these numbers and the risks are rare, the drugs are in high demand. So when you have millions of folks right, taking them, it could mean that hundreds of thousands of new cases can develop. And that's important to understand. In addition, a new warning label concerning blocked intestines, not a good thing. That was recently uh, added to Ozempic. And prescribing information for Wagovi cautions users about suicidal thoughts, increased heart rate, gallbladder problems, and blocked intestines, amongst other side effects. So it's not a panacea. A lot of safety concerns, but for people who are diabetic or obese, the benefits far outweigh the risk in most times. And it's critical that people speak to their family doctor about the pros and cons, including the potential side effects. That way they're aware of what might happen. And if they choose to take one of these medications, they can seek medical attention if necessary and hopefully avoid serious consequences. Mm -hmm. Having said all that, though, this is exciting news. If we can reduce kidney problems in diabetics, man, that'd be great. It sure would, Doc. Thank you so much for being here and oh, sharing my pleasure. with us. We appreciate of course. it. Of course. Be sure to tune in this weekend for the Dr. Nandy Show. This week, he's focusing on the dangers of distracted driving and talks with a man who was in a serious car accident involving a person who was texting at 80 miles an hour. That's this Sunday afternoon at 1, right here on 7.